Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and I have a little bit of an update on these cancellations and Young Justice. Well, as many of you know, there's still lots of stuff happening with HBO Max, and we're awaiting that Young Justice renewal. If you've been following the story here, just to recap, HBO Max only ordered the fourth season, and there have been multiple stories going around that HBO doesn't intend on making an order for a season 5. This isn't the same as a cancellation, just sort of a limbo status. Now, we've asserted multiple times that the reason for this is quite honestly, Warner Brothers Discovery and HBO Max have not been making a lot of forward progress right now ordering new things. Most of the focus has been on cuts, and up until yesterday when we found out the Matt Reeves news, we really didn't have a lot of new projects coming from them. Now, one thing you may have noticed with most of the cancellations is what content is getting clipped. As these cancellations came down the pipe, I couldn't help but notice that most of this is kids' content. Merry Little Batman, The Gumball Movie, that laundry list of canceled shows like Aquaman are all content almost exclusively focusing on a younger demographic. Now, there are a few others mixed in there, but for the most part, it seemed that HBO was not focusing on kids' content moving forward. Now, there is a quote coming from a spokesperson at HBO Max that came along after the canceling of the Gordita Chronicles, and this seems to verify exactly that. The spokesperson from HBO Max actually said, Live action kids and family programming will not be part of our programming focus in the immediate future. What this means on the short is that HBO Max is not really looking to make a lot of kids and family content and the driving factors for that really probably should be explored. I personally believe with so many streaming platforms right now, the options for children's content is pretty broad, and depending on which platform a family is buying, most kids will eventually just fall into the categories of what that streaming service holds. This means, for the most part, most streaming service subscriptions are based on what the adults want, not the kids. At least this might be what the market research is showing the team at HBO Max and Warner Brothers Discovery. Now, what does this mean for Young Justice? Well, I kind of think it might mean some good news. Quite honestly, I would never really consider Young Justice kids programming. The show has always had very, very complex storylines and are not really things that young kids will be capable of following. In addition, the personal relationships between these characters have always played key in the show. Over the years, these have gotten much more and more adult and adult-oriented, even to the point of facing some criticism from some fans this past year saw multiple relationships highlighted that were generally non-traditional. And quite honestly, even though this has received some criticism, it might be working in the favor of the show. Like I said, I've never considered this a kid's show, and that alone is another factor that might help the show get renewed. Now, now that HBO has started to announce some new projects, I think we may have actually reached the end of the purge, and we should be on the lookout for some news for Young Justice. I don't believe the show will go away forever. HBO is focused on what's profitable and what brings in subscribers. And although we don't have the subscriber information available, we do know from Greg Wiseman that the numbers for this series on the streaming service were absolutely incredible. And anecdotally, if you visit HBO Max, Young Justice is quite often a trending show. Now, we're going to keep following Young Justice and any updates we might have for the show. I'm going to remain optimistic. I know there's a lot of people down in the dumps about the potential cancellation for the show, and that hasn't simply happened yet, and I think we need to keep the positive energy going to make sure HBO Max and Warner Brothers Discovery, particularly their new leader, David Zaslov, know that the fans are here, they have money to spend, and we want more. Keep using those Young Justice hashtags, Renew Young Justice, Young Justice Season 5, and Save Earth 16 to make sure the word gets out. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to get all of your Young Justice updates, but until we know more, what do you guys think? Do you consider Young Justice a kids or family show? And if not, do you think that helps the show in the renewal process? Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.